Thank you very much. Uh, my name again is Sri Tan with MTC, Metropolitan Transportation Commission. Um, I'm representing MPO and from the San Francisco Bay Area. As um, Gary mentioned, uh, in our region, San Francisco, San Francisco region, we have uh, 100 cities and nine counties. And we have a population of about 7.4 7 million people. Um, for the local uh, streets, uh, we have about 43,500 lane miles in our regions. So that's excluding the, the, the state freeways. Um, so this morning, I was going to touch uh, really briefly on some of the things that how we collect data. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our data quality management plans and then also how that ties into our, our performance measures. So as you know, uh, MAP21, so it's kind of focused on performance, accountability, and transparencies, and that's part of what we're doing. And, and actually, even before MAP21, we already started doing um, things like this. And the most important reason why we're doing something like this is that, you know, um, it, when, when you're collecting data, um, I'm talking about here is the, the distress data out in the field that will ultimately fit into your payment management system. Um, you need to get quality data in there. So, and that's what we um, started with um, uh, developing this data quality management plan that helped us to bring in quality um, data into our system. That would ultimately help us to uh, perform needs assessments for the Bay Area. When we do our long-term transportation plans, which is 30 years uh, planning uh, documents, we need to know how much the pavement needs as well as the non-pavement needs for the local agencies in, within our regions. So um, there's the goal, uh, which I kind of briefly touch on. So really, the, the, the number two goal is the one that really what we, we are uh, going after is making sure that we get data, data um, quality data, not just for our regional purposes, but also the local agencies so that they can do their own um, analysis as well. Uh, you know, coming up with their own maintenance plans. Um, of course, um, it, you know, if you don't have that good quality data, it's going to be garbage in, garbage out. So that's what we have in our data quality management plans right now. Um, we, uh, the first thing we do is we, when we, every time we go out with the um, soliciting for new con uh, data collect collections vendors, um, so we do a pre-qualification first test. So what we do is, you know, for those um, consultants that are interested in, in um, the submitting their RF RFQ, we'll send them out to do a, a, a one-day test out in the field to do whether or not they are automated or, or walking survey uh, vendors to do this uh, testing. So if they pass, then we'll invite them to submit the RFQ. And then uh, part of our plans also we have quality control and, and before and after. And then also the, the last thing we had a uh, couple years ago we started doing is the radar certification program where we certify the, the, the data vendors, um, uh, their own radars, so that there's consistency ac across not just the firm but also other um, consultants that we work with. So uh, let me skip that. Um, so once we have this good data and that really help us to answer some of the, the, the key um, performance uh, questions. Um, whether, you know, the, the very common questions is like, what is, what is our existing condition right now? And uh, how much money do I need to, uh, to maintain for the state of good repair? Or how effective is your payment preservation uh, efforts? So, in terms of the level of performance metrics, I, I know um, FHW is still kind of working on that, um, coming up with the, the final ruling on that. But from the local perspective, really, there, there are a lot of questions that you can come out, uh, generate from your own payment management systems to help you to gauge where you are for your system. So that's what kind of what I'm focusing on. Once you get that quality data, what can you do with that data? So we follow these uh, guiding principles that any of the performance measures that we come up with is going to be measurable as, ob as ob objectives as possible and fairly uh, apply. And then you utilize a database that's widely available. What, what, what I mean by that is that because 
the, the, the 109 agencies in the San Francisco Bay Area, they're all using the same uh, software system, which is a street saver. So it's very easy for us to get that data conglomerated into one gigantic database and run analysis out of it. Um, and also it's meaningful, so the performance measure that it will pro really help to promote, um, in this case here, really the, the payment preservation efforts. So here is the, the proposed one, so I, I'm hoping it will change. <laughs> so here, um, here's one of the key uh, uh, performance uh, indicators. Uh, it's very easy, um, you know, what you can do once you uh, get that quality data in there, you would be able to know what's your um, condition, network conditions. And we use three years moving average so that we can um, drown out all the noises be, be from the year to year uh, PCI uh, because some of the small agencies, you know, if they have done a, 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 a rehab project, their PCIs can bump four or five points in a year. So we use a three, three years moving average so that we can drown out those noises and then and we report this information every year. So um, around March every year, then we release this data to, to 109 agencies so that they know where they are at. And then the press, local press will pick it up as well, then they'll, you know, reporting um, locally. Um, and then this uh, KPI here is, is what we call the sustainability index. Um, really, it's very simple. It's based on um, your actual m and or maintenance and rehabilitation that you have done and versus your needs. In this case here, we use a, a analyze a 10 years needs to figure out how much money you need to maintain your PCI to achieve that set of good repair. So uh, um, as you can see, in our regions, the benchmark, so the benchmark here, um, in our regions, the, the, the network average is uh, 66. So right now, the Regions is, is investing about $10,400 a year per land miles. But our actual needs is actually $27,000 uh, $27, per land miles in order to achieve that state of good repair. So uh, in terms of sustainability, is really we're only putting about 39% of the funding into maintaining it. So it's not a sustainable uh, a model in our region, even though we have good payment management informations, but the locals are not investing enough. The way that you see that you, you invest enough is when, um, for example, you look at Dublin's right here, right? They Currently, they have a PCL of 87. 87 is excellent. I mean, if you look at Google Maps, the whole city is black, OK? There's no gray spot. It's good, condi very, very good condition. And they're investing $6,300 per land miles versus the actual needs only 5,600. And so they are actually at that sustainable models. They can continue maintaining their payment perpetually and they will not run into trouble. So that's kind of the KPIs that we're using. And this one here, I think this is probably, probably one of the, the, the best two that we have uh, in terms of gauging the, the, the efforts on uh, the payment preservation uh, index. And then at one point, um, we actually tie this formula into how we allocate our regional funding to local agencies. So it's a performance-based um, funding allocation formula that we use in our regions. So what it simply, uh, what it is is it's comparing not against each other, but comparing within yourself, the agency itself. So what I mean by that is that we know how much money they invest in their uh, preventive maintenance efforts. Okay, we use a three years average. For the last three years of work, whenever they're performing works that, um, that are qualified as preventive maintenance, in this case, we use the condition. So when the PCI is 70 and then they apply the treatments to it, they get the credit for doing it as a preventive maintenance work. And then we, and then that numbers, the average of that number is divided by what's recommended by the system. So in street saver, you're always, based on your network uh, condition, it tells you how much money you need to invest uh, in preventing maintenance versus your rehab projects. In this case here, so the agencies um, will be able to kind of gauge how much money actually they have been putting in um, towards 
preventive maintenance. And as you know, as we all know here, so that in the long term, your pavement will last, last longer. So that's what we do with our um, uh, performance index here. So I'm, and I will kind of give it a little bit. Whoops. What this one uh, means is that, um, for example, in our regions, even though we are at 66, and we have been maintaining 66 for quite a, quite a long time, so it's probably the last five years we have been maintaining about 66. Well, one of the, the key things why our pavement does not continue to deteriorate more is because we've been putting enough money just to maintain the good pavement so that they'll last longer um, by showing by, by the results right here. So the actual percentage right now um, investing in PM is 17%. What the system is telling us to invest is 16%. So we are actually just slightly above that um, pavement preservation index, which is 1.06. So, so in terms of gauging how well we are doing, how effective we are doing with our pavement preservation efforts, um, the region is right on par with it. But then that doesn't mean that you know uh, everyone in, within our regions are uh, doing the same, uh, doing the same efforts. As you can see, some agencies um, they're only doing 20% of the efforts, versus others who's way over it, which is great. You know, I mean, they believe in maintaining what what uh, the good pavement, um, while they're trying struggling for getting more dedicated source of funding to fix their uh, roads that in in poor conditions. But they they are you know doing that efforts so that they know. They will buy them more time uh, in the long runs. So that's kind of what I'm trying to get to it. Uh, I know this is a very short presentation. Um, so the, key, the the takeaway for this is that you know when we're doing our quality uh, data plans, if it's not documented, it didn't happen. So that's what I have. Right. Thank you.